So we built up a couple of user commands in the previous video, and now we're going to bring in the database add-on and actually build up the functionality of a basic CRUD system via the command line. So to bring this in, it's a PHP penguin app colon install, and we want to install the database add-on. So this add-on pulls a couple of packages down, and basically it's the Laravel Illuminate database component. So any commands that you actually use inside of Laravel with the database component, you can actually now run inside of your command line tool. So let's jump over to our application. So now under config, come into database, and here it's set up for SQLite. Now I've got a MySQL database running locally, so I'm just gonna switch over to MySQL. And now I've got a database in there from a previous tutorial series with the Laravel login system. Now it's nothing fancy, it's just a basic users table. So anyone who's used Laravel before, there's no surprises here. Um, it's just a basic table with name, email address, and a couple of other fields that Laravel uses. So this is the database I'm gonna be interacting with. Now you can interact with any database, the principles are the same, you just need to set it up within this config. So down here, my database name is login, my username is root, and I don't have any password set on this local database. So I'm just gonna hit save on that. Now under the all commands, we need to just bring in the illuminate database facade. And to do that, it's just use illuminate support facades DB. Now in our handle method, we're gonna use that illuminate database component and get all our users. So I'm just gonna create a variable called users and that's gonna equal a DB. I'm gonna select the table of users and we're just gonna call get. Now if we just do a die and dump, on users and let's run this command in the command line so it's just a php penguin users all you can see that gets all users from our database and dumps them out so let's make this a little bit more presentable for the end user so let's get rid of this dying dump and let's do a for each loop and we want to say for each users as user and then we can just display the information out so to do this we do our this info like normal and then we can say ID then we can just concatenate on the user ID and then we can say name and we can just concatenate onto the end of that the user's name so that'll loop through all the results and print them out to the console so let's give this a try and again it's just a PHP penguin users colon all and there we go it lists out all of our users their IDs and the names so let's say we want to do this for just one single user so we created a command for this in the previous video so it's under app commands users and it was the show commands and we accepted in an id so like in our other method we're just going to create a variable called user i'm going to do a db and we're going to call the table users and we want to find a user with whatever id is passed so to do that we call this argument and we want to get the key of id remember the arguments are passed in via the signature here and the key is whatever we've called it here. So we've called it ID, so we're getting that. And what we can say is if user, so if a user has been found, we'll just print that user information out to the command line. So I'm just gonna grab this and copy it over to save typing out again. And then we can put an else here as well. Then we can put an else, and then we can say, we say this info, there is no user with this ID. Let's bring in the facade as well. So like the previous example, it was illuminate support facades DB. Now let's run this command. There's a PHP penguin users show, and then we just pass in an ID of what user we wanna see. So the last one in the table had a user ID of 53. So let's try that. And we see we get that user back. Now if we try it with a user that doesn't exist, so 54, you see there is no user with this ID. Now the final method was uh, delete, so let's implement that. So we just wanna bring in that database facade again at the top of the file. And then this command's gonna be similar to the show, so I'm just gonna copy this over. So the first thing we wanna do is see whether that user actually exists in the database. And if they do, then we can call delete on that user. So it's db table, and it's the users table. And we want to delete where the user has that ID. And another benefit to see whether the user exists first is we've got the user data, so we can provide some feedback. So we can actually say down here now, we can say user and concatenate user 
name has been deleted. Now let's run this as PHP Penguin users delete. And let's delete that user with the ID of 53. So there we go, the user Stephanie has been deleted. So if we do a PHP Penguin users show, and we try and show that ID of 53, there is no user with this ID, we just deleted them. So that shows you how you can actually use the database component inside of Laravel 0.